Hello, my name is Peter Barski from Holy Mid Germany and I will guide you through these lessons on the new RamiWave Pro software. In this lesson we will talk about the Wave Scanner. The Wave Scanner is available as an add-on to the RamiWave Pro software. Before we go into any detail about the Wave Scanner, I think I should explain what the main purpose of the Wave Scanner basically is. Well, let's see how this works. Via this control panel you have access to all the functions of the RamiWave Pro software. And this sine wave together with the magnifier glass is the symbol for calling the wave scanner. When I click on this icon, two windows will open up. This is also shown by the activity markers attached to the icons on here. These windows are the window for the single programs and the scanner window itself. These two windows are shown because the wave scanner calculates internally the parameters for the single program window sends the data to this window and finally the single program window will send the data to the instrument. For explaining the basic functionality of the wave scanner I will temporarily switch the window for the single programs invisible. Okay, now let's have a closer look on this window. The color shading shows you that we have to deal with three sections of this window. The first section is the section for setting up the basic parameters for the scan process and the start conditions. Here in the section of the start conditions you begin by setting the phase relation between the input and the output and typically you start with the default setting which is debug. It is also known as AI or inverse mode or antiphase mode and you do the first test in this mode. If you don't find a resonance in this mode then you go ahead and try again the upgrade mode which is also known as in phase or true phase what means that the input and output of the instrument are moving into the same direction whereas in debug mode the output signal is reverted compared to the input signal. Next you choose the source of the information which could be either the electrodes or the integrated container and because you usually use the wave scanner when you don't have the right matching test substances you start with using the electrode what means you use the endogene bioresonance. In other words you use the body information as the information source. On the other hand if you have a certain substance and you want to precisely select the wave 
to be transferred to the client, you may choose the integrated container. Next, you will select whether the current situation of the client can be said to be an acute situation or be a more chronic situation. And finally, you set the sensitivity of the client. For example, if you have done a basic regulation, what means you have used the balance setting on the instrument, and the client reported about some nice feeling, some itching, some kind of pulsation or whatever positive sensation, then you will choose high. If the client reports that he or she feels just nothing or feels just something at the end of the balance program, then you choose normal. That's all what you have to set. Additionally, here we have the button for the basic settings For showing you what is behind that, I will click on that A new window opened showing the various additional parameters you may change We set these parameters for you during the past four years and I think they are pretty optimal, but if you think you need to change something, of course you can do that and you can also save your settings for later use. In the case you changed something and you found it not being that optimal, then there's no problem. Uh, you can go back to this window and call back the default values with just the click of the mouse in store these values again and so you are on the safe side. What you probably may change is the setting for the test instrument. In the case you have the Biocheck Pro EAV test instrument then you probably may like to use this instrument for your tests during the scan session and you can click on here and when you do so the wave scanner will call the Biocheck Pro software and will remote control the software for you and will show you the instrument on screen so you don't have to watch the instrument on the Biocheck Pro. This will probably may make the test and the scan more comfortable for you. Uh, I will show you that in the later part of the session. Okay. So much now about these options and let's close this window now. Okay, so much about the first section of this window. Now let's have a look at the second section. Here you see these two buttons, the green button and the red button. What is the meaning of these buttons? By these buttons you communicate with the wave scanner and you tell the wave scanner whether the set parameters have a positive or none or negative effect on the current test. What means if you for example use the EAV and had previously a very high value of let's say 80 or 90 and with the current parameters you have a value of for example 55 then this new value is better than the value before and hence the current parameters have a positive effect on your test so you confirm the positive effect by clicking on the green button on the other hand if for example you use the kinesiology and you do a muscle test and with the previously set parameters the muscle reacted strong and now with the current parameters you have a weak reaction then this is clearly a negative effect on your current test and therefore you click the red button. So to make the long story short if you have a positive test result then you simply click the green button 
if you have a negative result or if you would say the previous test already was negative and the current test is negative also then there is no change but it was not positive and therefore you click negative. Whenever you click on either of these buttons then new parameters are calculated and sent to the instrument and with each click the frequency range is further refined until it comes to an end. The end is for example defined by the lower limit of the wobble rate which could be adjusted in the settings window which we have seen before. We have set it in a level of around about 10%. The smaller you probably may make the wobble rate, the more tests you will need to get to the frequency which you will later use for the application. Ok, how many tests will I probably need? It depends on the frequency range. It could be any number of tests from one test to let's say 12, 13 or 14 tests. In the average we have seen you will probably need around about 7-8 tests until the wave scanner tells you that the final test was done and now you can transfer this information. Ok, we will see this in the example later during this session. Finally we have here this grey button undo last test. It may happen occasionally that you say, ok, I'm not that sure if the current test was really positive. I have some strange results. I feel it in my belly. There might be something wrong. Then with a single click on this button, you will be one step back at the conditions of the previous test. In fact, by clicking this button several times, you can go back the whole sequence up to the beginning of the whole test. Ok, what is left is this black section below here. There's only one button and its purpose is what it says. Here you start or restart the scan process. There's nothing more behind that.